The Media Reform Coordinating Group, MRCG, na one of the leading media development agency na Saloon, we start their operation inside 2014. We then work now for strengthening democratic dialogue as we for bring peace and ensure development through professional, independent and sustainable media based on the rights to freedom of expression and speech. For sake of this, make this be anthem. MRCG be joined on with National Fund for Public Interest Media with support from the International Fund for Public Interest Media. Be all one meeting with some international partners and journalists there for discuss with them how for address the situation of journalism for help improve the profession dr francis soa we are the national coordinator for mrcg talk about the recommendation them where they make to governments and partner them for help address the media challenge that the country the third recommendation was about the media and this now so the first we have addressed were basically the first two to government and government related agencies like the imc now, in that conference, the third recommendation, we turned the satellite to ourselves. Those of us who are the media practitioners. And we did say that we were also going to look at the media should commit to re-engineering this industry in order to boost the potential for attracting private sector investment and public support subsidies. We realized that the current state of the media as it is may face difficulty in, att in attracting the necessary support for the private sector. So we need to do some kind of re-engineering amongst ourselves. We are so bold enough you know, to say that. And some key point there we said, the IMC, SLAD, and the Minister of Information and Communication, then IIM, Guild of Editor, should come together to review and strengthen existing governance and management requirements for media institutions and agree on compliance mechanisms. This is about how we also want to improve our, our own um, um, environment. We talk about proper systems for measuring broadcast audiences and super circulation figures. Today, in this country, everybody is claiming I'm the best, I have the highest circulation, whatever, but we need the credible data. I mean, the, the last one we, we relied on is BBC Media Action Study of 2016. There have been some updates. So we need to have them some kind of serious um, audience surveys on the landscape there in Sierra Leone. Media outlets should consider mergers and alliances. This one, it is not the IMC suggesting to the media, it's not the IMC forcing the media. Ourselves, I mean, let's be honest, what are we going to do with 500 plus media houses in Sierra Leone? <laughs> so we said we also need to sit down and think about not, clo not closure, but mergers and what? Acquisitions. Make them viable and attractive. Okay? Edward Kabo, when are the BBC Media Action Country Director, talk about the role, where they don't they play for improve the media landscape in a saloon? For us at BBC Media Action, I mean, this is, this is what we do, it is um, supporting media around the world is an integral part of the way we work. And for every opportunity that we have to make such a contribution, we take advantage of it, recognizing, and I'm sure we will agree, that um, the media plays a very important role in the nurturing and um, sustenance of, uh, of democracy. As the president of Sludge you know, mentioned in his statement, this has been um, a journey starting from the consultations that we've been having all the way to the development of what is now a blueprint, as he called it, for media viability and media development generally in Sierra Leone, and that is the um, national Action Plan for Media Viability, which comes with a series of recommendations, seven point recommendation, addressing everything basically that the media needs to evolve and to grow and to be viable in Sierra Leone. For no waiting at the role of government for support the growth of the media na the country, Emmanuel Ebi Touré, na the Director of Government Information Service, na the Ministry of Information and Civic Education, been gets this for say. On behalf of government, as a ministry, we want to register our unwavering commitment to the media investment in Sierra Leone. And so there and then, this whole program was launched by the former minister, and we are part of uh, now what we call the National uh, Fund for Public Interest Media in Sierra and serving as a board. This is all geared towards enhancing government's commitment to media freedom, 
uh, in Sierra Leone. Apart from government's counterpart funding towards this uh, uh, national fund that we've created, we see it necessary to also not only uh, taking it at the government level, as my brother likely mentioned here, but even in our development, uh, development plan, if you check under part five of our national development plan, under that cluster for partnership and visibility, and the annex attached, part of it is investment in the media sector, which is already ongoing, as exemplified by our support to Slash, our annual subvention. I think it's time, we don't meet the time, but we do, actually. <laughs> and it's a commitment. We think that the measures them where the independent media commissioner saloon don't put in place for make media house owner them go by as way for seek the welfare of the workman them. Khalil Kalon, now the executive secretary for IMC, beget this for say. But I have noticed that a number of media institutions have their staff members which are registered with the IMC, but then they employ other staff members that are of known to IMC. So normally at review time, what we do, we ask for three months uh payment vouchers not necessarily to check them on whether they are paying somebody high or not but we ensure that anyone that's paid on the pay list for instance must be paid above the minimum wage and tax compliances are things we monitor we ensure at the commission that NASIS is complied fully the 10 percent payment by the employee to the employer and the five percent from the employee so I is fully monitored. Khalil Kalon end up say then go continue for monitor media house owner them for ensure say then give the right treatments to the workman them as well for improve the media landscape na saloon. For Liberty Online TV, me na Mohamed Kamara, the reports.